Aloha, welcome back to KTA Kitchens. This is Chef Maka. And uh, we got this unbelievable dish that I really love to make. And I, I learned it from one of my buddies out there. My mentor, George Gomes Jr. taught me this dish. Um, it's a tiger eye sushi, done tempura style. It's got a crispy exterior and a, like a super flavorful center. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna, uh, our ingredients, we got some wasabi, wasabi paste. You can use dry powder, mix it with a little bit of water, be fine, some tobiko caviar. And then we got some Coleman's dry mustard that I mixed with a little bit of lime juice and uh, rice wine vinegar. And we have some sushi rice, some tempura, uh, tempura batter, and of course our nori. But first off, what you wanna do is get about a two, uh, cut your fish, your ahi, in about two ounce block. And put a slit right down the middle, which I have right here, okay? Now we're gonna stuff it with these ingredients. So first off, I got some wasabi paste. And use your finger, and just put it right in the middle. Okay, and then I have this Tobiko caviar. You can get any color you want, red, blue, black, purple. I got red. Okay, and we're gonna load this guy up in the middle. And then this asparagus that I blanched lightly, and I just soaked it in ice water. Just put it right in the middle. Blanched asparagus. Really simple. You put it in hot water, you blanch it for a couple minutes, and you shock it in ice water. You wanna stop the cooking process or it's gonna be really mushy. It's gonna be like those ones you taste out of a can, which is fine, but fresh is better, okay? So I got my sushi rice. I've done this with a little bit simple white rice, then it makes a little bit of sugar, salt, rice wine vinegar. But before I wanna roll, I wanna make sure I get everything. So I make sure you cut or rip your nori into the size of the fish. You notice that right there? and have it next to you, and have some water so you can grab the rice, because if you put a dry hand, it's gonna stick all of your rice everywhere, okay? So, a little bit of water in your fingers, and we're gonna grab, we wanna go about half the size of the fish, we don't want too much rice, because the fish is the, is the star attraction. And just with your hands, yeah, wet hands, shape it the size of the fish, okay? We're gonna put it down in there like this. Dry your hands now, because you don't wanna get the nori all wet. And your nori, down the bottom, center. Just roll your fish right over. And to seal it, I just put a little bit of water right at the end. You can make these in advance, you know, let them sit, you know, in someplace cool, your refrigerator. I made these, you know, like five minutes ago. They're good for maybe half the day, but you know, you, you can't do it overnight. Okay, so let's heat our oil. And when the oil is ready, we're gonna cook them. So right now I'm making, I'm finishing my beurre blanc here and this is basically white wine and lemon juice that I reduced down into the syrup consistency and I'm slowly whipping in whole butter. When we, uh, the consistency we want is when it coats the back of a spoon, it'll be ready. Sauce is nice and warm. Um, it's important that our sauce is warm. If it's cold, the butter is just gonna firm up and you'll have firm butter, which we don't want. Now, remember that mustard and that lime juice and that rice wine vinegar, here we go, okay? Just have a little bit of time. If you add too much, um, it might not be good, you know? You might, it might be too spicy. If you guys go to a Chinese restaurant, you have that, you know, that, that Chinese mustard? We kind of recreated this Chinese mustard here. That's all we did. And we're gonna fold this in to our burblon. So as, as spicy as you want it to be, it's really up to you, okay? Now I'm gonna taste it. Pretty good, more spicy. And I think our oil is ready, so we're gonna go to our pan with our oil, okay? So here's our fish, and here's our, my tempura batter. And my oil is you know, on a medium-high heat. I can see a little bit of smoke coming out. Even if it's too high, turn it down. If it's too hot, take it off the heat. Here I go. Just roll the tiger eye sushi into your tempura batter and then slowly float it in there, okay? Let me wash my hands real quick. And at this stage, all I wanna do is kind of sear all the sides so the tempura gets nice and crunchy. And we want it to be like medium rare to rare in the middle. All we want is this crunchy exterior. Oh, this is gonna be awesome, guys.
Okay, here we go. It's ready. Well, almost ready. Cool it off a little bit, and if you touch right now, you will get burned. But I'm a professional, so it's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna dry it off a little bit. And I got my plate here. And you, do, you don't have to use this sauce if you don't want. You can use it, you can use shoyu and wasabi if you want. You know, it's really up to you, but this, this is what I do. This is great. Now it's cool. Get a really sharp knife, and we're gonna cut our tiger eye. Right, and we're just gonna rearrange it on our plate. Really pretty. Guys, Tiger Eye Sushi Tempura. Amazing. Crispy exterior, beautiful flavors in the middle. Let's try one. Mmm. You know what this goes good with? White wine, Chardonnay. Guys, this is Maka Kwan from KTA Kitchens. We'll see you next time. Aloha.